Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about trying to find your motivation to get started on your workout journey or just working out in general, or maybe just being a little bit more active, especially during this quarantine self-isolation time. It's starting to get lifted. Um, Florida is in phase one, but wherever you are, I know that things are gonna be starting to open up soon for you. I'm also probably gonna get a bike. That's a little update that I want to share with you guys. I don't know yet, but um, I've just been contemplating. A lot of you guys have commented or message me saying that I've helped inspired you to get started working out or help you continue your workout journey or have motivated you. And that really means the world to me. So thank you so, so much. Um, I'm so happy that I've touched your life in that way about being healthier and just having that motivation. Um, I couldn't be more thankful. So thank you so much. Hopefully these little tips today will also help you be even more motivated to work out. Also, by the way, guys, I showered. So I just kind of let my hair air dry. Sorry, it's not it's not looking that cute today. So the first tip I have is look at someone else's success. So that could be me, that could be someone else. I actually have a friend on YouTube. Um, her name's Annie, Annie Dubay, and she, I don't know if she watches like half of my videos or not, but I mean, I watched some of her videos and I've known her for quite a while, but she has had a lot of success and it's really inspiring. Um, I might've inspired you, maybe other people on the internet have inspired you, but just look at someone else and say, wow, Wow, they have come that far. I can do the same thing because it's true, you can. The next little tip I wanted to share with you guys is just have the mindset, it's only 20 minutes out of my day. It's only 10 minutes out of my day. It's only 30 minutes or an hour out of my life. You have like 24 hours in a day. So if it's just half an hour, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that long. And probably your TV show or movie is that long. So maybe turn on the television, start a YouTube video, maybe listen to a podcast, that's 30 minutes, do your workout, and then it's done. You can get it over with. The mindset that you have to have is just like, oh, it's only this amount of time. It's not, you know, four hours where you have to be working out and everything. Also, maybe this isn't the healthiest tip, but it works for some people and it has worked for me at times. Look at a photo of someone you think has a really good body. So I have a lot of friends, not a lot. Actually, I don't have like that many friends to be honest, um, but some of my acquaintances, friends, whatever you want to call them, people that I have in my life have some really good looking bodies. They're healthy, they're strong, um, they have curves, some don't, but just take some inspiration. You could even pick a model. It doesn't matter who the person is, but just use them as kind of like some inspiration. Maybe it could be your favorite fitness blogger or YouTuber or um, trainer. You could pick anyone. I would suggest though picking someone that kind of has your body styling because you don't want to strive for something that is unattainable for yourself. So just be like realistic, but that's one way you can kind of get motivated to start working out. Another tip I have for you is thinking maybe there's an outfit you really want to feel confident in. So this could be a dress, this could be jeans, this could be a shirt or a blouse that you want to wear. It could be a bikini, it could be a one-piece swimsuit. Um, just pick something from your closet and just be like, I want to look good in this and I'm going to feel confident and kind of just declare that that is going to happen to you and it will with your hard work and you have some motivation to push you and get your your workouts in and probably also eating clean because just working out will not change you overnight as you can see with me <laughs> it's taken a while but you know we're getting there the next tip is kind of similar to my last tip but it is an event coming up you want to have more confidence at so for example I have two weddings that I'm in and I want to look like hot shit you know I just don't want to feel uncomfortable in the weddings and I want to feel and look good because I know a lot of pictures are gonna be taken I'm gonna want to take pictures I want to post them I don't want to be like oh I have to edit this or oh I have to stand this way so maybe you're gonna go on a cruise soon just you know have that on your calendar and be like okay my cruise is coming up so cross out or put a heart or star on every day that you worked out up until your cruise and then maybe you'll just get in the routine of that This moves into my next tip, keep yourself accountable. You can take this any way you want to, but for me, filming myself really helps. Documenting it, maybe writing it down in a log. See, here is my log, I'll show you guys. So this is my log and I just have it in the format and the way I speak and I can read and understand it, but just keep a workout log um, to keep yourself accountable, film yourself. Maybe you and your cousin are doing workouts, so text each other, be there for one another, 
another um, and that can also help you get some motivation because you know that you're gonna have to do this for a video for your cousin for I don't know your grandpa who knows but if you have someone to keep you accountable have something maybe you're doing a bullet journal and you want every day to have its own like colorful beautiful page of when you worked out I don't know but just have something to keep you accountable and then you'll definitely be motivated because you're like oh I gotta film that today or oh I gotta do this so that's also another tip that I wanted to add in another tip I have for you if you have anxiety or like anger management issues or maybe you're depressed or something working out really allows you to release a lot of emotions it could be happy emotions it could be sad emotions it could be all types of emotions I just feel like it really helps just release all of that as well as if you're in school and if you have like a lot of tests or if you're in college, university, trade school, whatever you're in, it does help with memory. I don't know where I heard that, okay, probably some sketchy website. I have no idea, but I heard that working out really helps with your memory and I kind of find it to be true because I well in general have a very good memory but I think working out could also help with that this is kind of a superficial reason of why you should want to work out but I just thought I would add it in the video maybe you want to impress someone maybe at school work the gym on Instagram maybe you want to impress someone so it could be a guy or a girl you know you want to get a relationship or something maybe you need to take more tender profile pictures or bumble or whatever dating app you use and you want to look hot for that that'll really get you moving so um, yeah maybe you want to impress someone that's also something to think of like oh I really want a boyfriend I'm gonna kick ass and get a really killer body for that person the last and final tip that I have for you guys is you will at least have done one thing productive if you've worked out that day so it's kind of like the saying make your bed make your bed um, some people say to make your bed because at least you have done one productive thing in my head if I've had like a really lazy day or I don't have a lot of things to do on a certain day working out could be that one productive thing so if I just wanted to sit on the couch all day and eat chips Comment down below if you know where that's from. But if you want to just be lazy or whatever, do a 10 minute workout. Do like the abs or like arms or something. And then you've done at least one thing productive so you can feel good about yourself and just move along and then literally pick out the rest of the day if that's what you wanna do because you've at least done one thing that has been productive. Again, you do not have to be perfect. I am not even close to being perfect at this. As you can see, I have my teriyaki Tuesday. I had corn last night, so don't think that I'm Miss Perfect over here because I am not. I love food. Food. Oh my gosh. If you just take one step, then you could definitely um, see improvements in your life and the way you feel so yeah and that my friends is pretty much all for my tips if I think of anything else I will let you know in the comments or the description box but those are the things I could think of of how to get motivated inspired to change your lifestyle and want to work out eat healthier just lead a healthier lifestyle in general uh, if you guys have any other questions or comments leave them down below don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!